All right, hello everybody. I'm Andrew Tolentino with Beckett Media. You probably recognize this shirt from a few episodes of Box Busters. I'm here in Chicago, Illinois to do a special episode of Pulling with Everyday People here at the Threadless headquarters, the place that actually made and distributed this shirt. So let's take a peek inside. here at Threadless Headquarters here in lovely Chicago, Illinois, and I have Brian, Kristen, and Joe who work with Threadless, and they are going to film an episode of Pulling With Everyday People. Kristen, if you just want to briefly exp explain the concept behind Threadless. Oh, cool. Well, I'll then, I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say great. what Threadless is, and then I'll say what I do, and then I'll toss it to you guys. Sounds great. Okay, so uh, Threadless is an online design uh, community. Basically, what we do is we... Uh, are a community of designers who submit designs to us, which are then voted on by our other users and community members. They are ranked, uh, they are given a score of one through five. Uh, then our staff picks from among the top ranked designs um, the designs that we want to print on t shirts. Um, and we've also branched out, we've made uh, water bottles, we've made uh, like wall graphics, uh, flip flops, and we're kind of moving into other merchandise as well. So we're kind of an online crowdsourced design community. Awesome, and, and you guys have some pretty pretty iconic t-shirts here. We do. Um, this is one that has been made into a pillow. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Mitten's Big Adventure. Yep. And this is actually designed by Joe Van Wettering, who was a community member before he was hired. Right. I was a community member before I was hired. Schaefer? I, I helped Joe with that. <laughs> you, 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 you own the cat that was shooting yeah, the laser. Exactly. He has a laser. Just... We've got tons of classic designs. Well, we've been around for 10 years, so there are a lot of really uh, iconic designs that have come out over the years, like the morning after, which is a clown kicking a rainbow into a toilet. Nuts, Absolutely. which is a squirrel sticking up another squirrel for a nut. Um, uh, hey, uh, what's this one called? Lil Soap. Lil Soap. Lil Soap, yeah. soap and it says the word butt on it. Um, and some of them, oh, this is Speedy Joe. This is Joe's, these are Joe's designs right there. Hair wolves and clouds within the, the thunder. Um, so we've done a lot, we've had a lot of um, thousands, of, thousands shirts. of shirts and we've paid millions of dollars to artists. So Absolutely. Um, that's a really cool thing about us. And I work here, I do social media, which means that I run our uh, Twitter and Facebook accounts as well as working on promotions and um, marketing whatnot. Ryan, tell, tell, us <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell us. Awesome. Uh, I'm the warehouse manager, so deal with all the shipping and receiving of the goods. Here, got a great crew back there. Basically, if you're ordering that stuff online, uh, worldwide, anywhere, it's coming out of, out of the warehouse Absolutely. here so in Chicago. The shirt I'm wearing, I'm behind the camera, so you can't tell. Keyboard cats was shipped from this very warehouse. Yeah. Did, you, did you get it quick? Did you get it on? Yes, absolutely. That's what I like to hear. On time. That's yeah, what I like to hear. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. And Speedy Joe, what do you do here? I am a designer and I deal with production of the shirts. So I make sure everything's the right size and ready to go for the printers. So you, you guys print in, in limited quantities and then, then you reprint. So yeah, much, much like the card companies. Uh, have produced cards in limited quantities. Feel free to just start ripping too. Um, <laughs> oh, should we say yeah. what we're opening? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this well, I want to. I would like it to be noted that they're going to be opening sports cards, and I'm going to be opening the complete Star Trek movie trading cards box awesome. set. So <laughs> this is kind of like Christmas morning. Brian, you, you used to collect, okay. right, or do you still collect? Uh, not anymore. Okay, but I, there is a lot of cards in, in my mom's basement. That awesome. If I go back there, I really Same need to here. look at them. You know? when, when's the last? time that any one of you have opened a pack a box of cards oh my god i i'm not gonna lie it was probably about a year ago that i bought a pack i was at toys r us searching for uh, for nephew's birthday presents and i figured i'd treat myself that's awesome uh, yeah. i didn't get too many good cards so i'm hoping that changes the day yes yeah, yeah. you got a whole box yeah, yeah. i hope i get a john luke pick card um pick oh, i get it get it man. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fun. really bad it's pun fun. Are you sure you gotta you get it a little bit it's like a fish oh no that's just yeah, yeah. that's that's a that's a that's a thick card that's the last time i oh and it's got jersey yeah see i had to open it and i got all official where you tuck it i have it at the stores 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, who, who is your favorite uh, football player since I've opened up football cards? Okay. Football player. Because if I get a Ocho card, Cinco, dude. Well, I'll trade you that Ocho for, Cinco. For, for lunch if I get my <laughs> You know, there it is. You'll oh, I got that. a Joe Johnson yeah. here. Joe here Johnson is no Chad Johnson. Hey, Data. Oh, oh look at this Joe. from the it's Wrath of Khan. Just... Look at them between the glass. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. that is great. This is a real tender that moment. That's like Spock and Kirk right there. It's really good cards to start off with right now. Tell, tell me about them, Brian. Well, you know, I'm an avid fantasy football player. And okay. The guys that had a good season last year, I pick off the bat. Braylon Edwards, Peyton Hillis, and one of my favorite uh, quarterbacks, um, Philip Rivers. Feel free to trade while while this is going it. on. I have a like feeling I might not do well in this trade. I don't know what this is, but I like it. It's <laughs> yeah. hard, and I believe there's a piece of a jersey. You got the piece of the jersey. Oh, that is, that I got is, one of those. In that is, yeah, awesome. go ahead and give that a feel and give it a smell. Dude, I got a Steve Nash jersey. Is it a scratch jersey. and sniff? It smells, <laughs> it, like, it smells like Steve the jersey. Nash jersey. You got a Steve there. Nash jersey? That's uh, nasty. Nasty, right there. Uh, there we go. Oh, look. Hey, well, I got a new Hora. I got a new Hora. So it's just like part of the new <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you want, you want, I do not. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put I'm gonna that on there. I'm gonna keep this Lieutenant Commander Uhura's uniform piece. What, what do you guys think about this. there being shirts inside of cards? I think that is so awesome. I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, yeah, this is so cool. Look at these three yeah. in a line. And Joe, yeah. I'm gonna have to give you this card back. Uh, you know, all due respect to Chris <laughs> Bosh. I don't, you know. I don't, really, oh, I'm, I don't really want it. Now, Fair I'm going to be... Oh, Chris Bosch, he looks like a catfish. He does. <laughs> exactly. You got a lot of packs to go now, there, I'm man. I'm pacing myself. I'm going to be serious when I say that the last, the last um, pack of cards that I opened was an X-Men trading card. Absolutely. Probably I was maybe 12. And I, the thing that I liked the most about them was the stats on the back, like agility, yeah. speed, things like that. So cool. Rogue. 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 Like a good Straight up guy. bully. He's like, yeah, he, he's a, representing. He's hard. If so you get that, a Derrick Rose, was, I will be. Get this. Where'd it go? Mind. Get that out of here. I don't want. I, I gave him. I this. straight up gave him the set of passing for free. I'm gonna read the pack. Yeah, yeah. You don't have those nimble little fingers. I got this one from Star Trek. It's the whale, which is the whale's holding hands. Whale's holding hands. So it's the whale's holding fins. I'm not sure what it means. Also, doesn't it look like Data's doing a commercial for whatever he's holding? He looks like he's from here. It looks like he's doing a commercial for, for his trading card. Yeah, for his own trading it's card. It's like within, it's, within, it's within. It's an infinite card. Which, yeah. 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 No. That's the next thing. Yeah. So you Are we supposed to open all of these? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it, it feels like <laughs> just <laughs> No, I just opened this pack as well and I get midway through it. No, Commander Shepard. Does it, um, what is this? That is, that's a plug card. So, so you know, that that's one thing that's changed about the industry is there, there are, since you, you guys last opened cards, they have to stick those plug cards in so, so people don't search. Feel it, yeah. And, right. You know, yeah, I just got one. If you're searching, you're like, oh, hey, I got it. Nope. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> this is a great one. Kristen Look. is getting really excited. Yeah. Look, they're like, yeah. hello? Wait, what are you hello? Looking? There it is. That's what my cell phone looks like. There we go. <laughs> Chan Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco. Right? Ocho Cinco. Give me the right pack. What, right what, is, right what was that stake here? What was that stake for? Uh, I would have, I think I owe you lunch, lunch but you lunch. I never shook on it. So yeah. this is going right well, here. Well, we got that on camera, so he's got that. Oh, does anybody want to open Reggie Bush also created. Mendenhall, this was a good pack, and Carson Palmer. That was a good one, man. Right, why did I give him that? I really like all of the pictures on here are just like, that one's they're good. ridiculous. Yeah. Trade because you, the Star Trek movies are I'll ridiculous. trade you the Cedric Benson for that. I'm not taking the Cedric Benson <laughs> off your hands. You think I didn't, like, catch that? He's trying to get her into that. I'll give you the Cedric Benson. You can't see it. 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 You there, get in front of the camera. So this is Craig Shamala. He's <laughs> Hi, our Craig. um he's also from Crumb Point with Brian oh, and tell. our founder. It's so awesome. he is our uh multimedia specialist. He does all our yeah, videos and some. stuff, and he's also yeah. the so, first oh, journalist yeah, employee, so he's been here ten years. Awesome. Awesome. I just What'd you did get? Your intro. First pack autograph. Oh yeah. Who do we is got it? there, Craig? Ryan Kerrigan on the red okay. so Kirk is wearing a Kirk is wearing a graphic tee in this one that says go climb a rock. That needs to be on the thread list yeah, I know. Yeah, that is great. I'll trade you that for the Cedric Benson. No, I'm not taking your Cedric Benson. Craig, did you used to collect cards as a kid? I did. I actually worked in a baseball card shop. Awesome. Which, which shop? Yeah. Uh, I was called... It was, 
First started out as uh, Happy Sports Cards, uh -huh. and then another a friend of mine bought it off of those, <laughs> the people that own that, and it became In the Paint. Uh, okay, Sports. okay. Yeah. That sounds familiar. Check out these jerseys that I got. I got right a Reggie right Bush jersey. Kind of. I got, there you go. Oh, go Steve, Did you get a whole jersey? I got back? a Steve Nash. Did you okay. got a golden ticket? What does this like mean? Oh, that means that you get to go to <laughs> Star Wars or Star Trek. You get to go to <laughs> Star Trek yeah, headquarters. Star Trek headquarters. <laughs> but <laughs> remember that nobody ever goes in and yeah. nobody ever nobody comes ever out. Comes out. Yeah. They're opening Star Trek headquarters for one day. Oh, right. Hologram. What would be cool to see is if one of of the cast members from a show. I know you guys do celebrity sightings wearing threadless like t-shirts. Yeah. hybrid from Battlestar Galactica. It'd be cool if one of the threadless t-shirts from a show got into a trading card oh, set. Oh my god, that'd be that's amazing. If there were modern family trading cards, we'd be all yeah. over There's that. community trading cards. Yeah. That's what our, our, sh our shirts have been on those shows a I, lot. I think with this discussion about threadless and trading cards, I mean, there's only oh, one other thing to do to have oh, a yeah, threadless that's, we trading card. Oh yeah, that's designer stats on the back. Oh, that's yeah. so that awesome. Would be, that would be a fun we project. We should do one for just staffers, too, who <laughs> design things. Who would things. be the Cedric Benson is what I want. There you go, Jay Culler. I just got this one, too. I know we've been getting a few of these rookies, but this one on the uh, right side there has got a got a number there that makes me feel like it's, it's pretty important. It's very important. So that's, that's serial numbering so so back to our discussion that that's a limited that's a limited edition yeah. there um kim cattrall was apparently uh vulcan <laughs> <laughs> here's one one of probably one of the favorite uh players here for chicago oh football. yeah no uh, Devin, Devin Hester. Hester. he has uh, are you guys just throwing these cards? Like I don't even know what's going on. She's just nice and <laughs> organized. Really We're talk just about like the cards. I'm like trying to organize based on alphabetical order. <laughs> I got a Johnny Knox. Johnny Knox. Johnny Knox. Now. There you go. <laughs> not the same. Different. Totally <laughs> different. His, same person. his looks like this was taken like off the set. Yeah, players. that looks like. Is this backstage? Let's see. He looks like Horace Grant. Yeah, he does. <laughs> there we go. He's got some Horace Grant. I do know Horace Grant. I'm familiar with the '90s Bulls, and I've got decent knowledge now. I'm not. I'm no. Oh, I'm yeah. no Crown Point native. You know what I have to say too? Like, I like that these are, have things on the back, but I would actually prefer them to have information about what was on the card. <laughs> right. 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 Yes. right. You, you I need to be like, you know, uh, Jean Luc Picard. Three stones. Who, who's on card autograph? Is that Joe? Um, his name is Landry Field. It's okay. a rookie card. Right on. And that's actually so on that's the die card. Yeah, that's actually. Is, that and it's got a big piece card. of jersey on there. It's got a big old piece of jersey. Yeah, yeah. it's got the jersey in there. And they the really, they've yeah. really changed with the cards yeah. since when we were kids. I think the the jersey was kind of coming on right as I was. I gotta jump out of here really quick. Done with All right, thanks for coming. I'll make it back. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, <laughs> thank you, yeah, man. Thanks, Craig. Craig. I, mean, I think that's just awesome. I'm, I mean, the game worn jersey right in there. But a game worn? It's got. Yeah. I would yeah. remember when you yeah. wanted me to scratch and sniff. I probably should. Have done that. <laughs> game worn? Uh -oh. Yeah. A, a lot of them are. A lot of them are. Yeah. Now, I, Michael, are, are these actually? Is this Those card are probably contains from an the... authentic piece of the Star Trek Three: The That's Search awesome. for Spot costume material? There you go. That's great that they do. That. Yeah. That there you Reggie go. Bush? They have their clauses in there. Yeah. That's right. It smells like Reggie Bush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. It's it, it's great how uh, it's evolved. I mean, like I told you, I opened up one pack probably like a year ago when I was getting some presence at Toys R Us, but going through all these packs, this is great how they, they changed. How did this make you feel? Were, were you uh, nostalgic about opening oh, cards? Yeah, that was really fun. Brought me back. Yeah, it <laughs> made me feel like I was a kid again in, in, in the sports uh, card shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, really oh, great. Really Although, really. back then, I had to use all the, the lawn mowing money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing the dishes money or, or something like that. I was really Just overwhelmed all. at first. Yeah. And now I feel very relaxed. It's you feel satisfied. Yeah. Does it, does it, is this a gateway? Does it leave you wanting to open more yeah, things? Yeah, yes. You're just gonna go opening bags of chips <laughs> later on. I, I'll tell you Box what, we, uh, we do our uh, company Christmas gift exchange. Oh yeah. I know what I'm putting it. down for my gifts. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And, and, and you guys are doing something something great in, in terms of producing t-shirts that are highly collectible uh, by not necessarily a niche audience, but it's there's a lot of universal value to what you guys do. And um, that's the parallel to trading cards. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and thanks a lot for for, for swinging by. And, any final sure. words or anything? Oh, this was really awesome. Yeah, I think we fun. should make 
We sh- oh my gosh, what it wouldn't it be wouldn't it be great if we yeah, made red list trading cards with like the initial t-shirts. like worn by Speedy Joe? Yeah, well, if you do, do let send shot. them to me. Let me what know. What if it was worn in the product shot? Like that, that would yes. be amazing. Be like cool. costuming like worn in the product. Yeah. Shot. That would and be if they cool. wanted a signature from my card, I would put it right <laughs> on the card. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, stickers. no stickers. I would sign some cards. Also, um, yeah, I mean, do you know anyone who would want to produce those for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask.